So the purpose of me being here today with my daughter is to uh, work with Sean O'Leary and Irene the parents and we the children to bring awareness to what is happening in our communities and in our homes and in our schools. We've had so many overdoses in our community um, that now it's time that we have to step up and start making people accountable. Our education system is lacking, our uh, governments are lacking in their ways that they're dealing with it and I just feel that collectively we have to make a difference. We have to work together, we have to find ways to help our children uh, so that they don't get into this problem and if they do, we have to help them. And what would you say to Lisa for putting on this event? Lisa McLeod has been instrumental and I'm really proud of her for first of all coming out today and sharing her personal experiences with mental health and for making a forum where everybody, our agencies, our local agencies can come together and share with our parents and our children uh, the resources that they need. And, and she's an amazing woman and a mom. And we're just, you know, we're parents that care. And what would you like to see moving forward with the, the We the Parents and We the Children organization? Oh, that's huge. I think it's about making sure that we can get more people on board because the power of the people is going to make the difference. They're going to make our counselors and our city officials stand up and pay attention. It's about helping our kids. It's not about being in the media. It's about bringing awareness to what's happening in our homes and our communities. And our children are our future. And if we don't help them, then what? We're the nation's capital. And, and what can you see the reality being uh, moving forward into the summer if things don't change? More deaths, more overdoses, more deaths. Uh, we've got new drugs coming down the, down the pipe. We've got carfentanil coming through now. Who knows where W18's at? W18, look it up. It's a very scary, scary drug. Um, it's in things that shouldn't be. It's, it's our children aren't safe. Our children are not safe. I had made a mention uh, a few weeks ago at a, at a meeting that I was at and, and a good old question is, is, you know, if you have a headache and you don't have Advil, who do you ask? Do you ask a friend? Do you ask somebody near you for, for an Advil? You know, and these kids don't know that these drugs can be in some very serious drugs. And if, you know, I'm teaching my daughter now not to accept anything from anyone, uh, not to ask, even if they have, even if she has a headache, to ask a friend for something because you don't know what that drug is. So we're going to have more. We're going to have more deaths, unfortunately. I don't want to see it. I don't want it to happen. But the truth of the reality is, is these bad drugs are on our streets, and our children uh, have access to them. And what is we the parents and we the children going to do moving forward? Well, I, you know, I think my hope is that we collectively work together to get more and more people behind us, that we have more uh, physical, or like power, more clout going forward to make sure that our politicians hear us loud and clear. I want to go provincial. I want to make sure that the education is in our schools. We need to have real-time stats. We need to make sure that these stats are being released. If there's a bad batch in our city, in our community, <clears throat> that Ottawa Public Health gets that information out to people in a timely fashion. Uh, we need our children to say, no, we have to, you know, we, have, we deserve the right to have the education in our schools. You can teach children all you want about uh, life skills and how to say no, but if they don't know what they're saying no to, we're at a loss.